Hey everyone, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a dual battery setup. So uh, here I have my uh, two deep cycle batteries, and the first thing you want to do is line up your positive and your positive, and your negative and your negative posts. Alright, the next thing you want to do is uh, get some washers here on your posts. Now the next thing you want to do uh, is uh, put on your um, your negative wire from your camper or your RV or whatever. So obviously I'm not at the camper. So what I would do is I would put my uh, negative uh, wire from my camper or RV right here. And then I would put the, this a uh, four gauge uh, 24 inch cable I have here on top. So let's do that. So you put your negative wire here first and you put your uh, cable here on top of it. And we'll get the nut on there. Then we'll go ahead and get the cable on the other side. I like passing it through the strap there so it doesn't uh, hit the post. All right, now we're gonna snug those up. This is a 13 millimeter wrench. When you're ever using a wrench or something around a battery, make sure you don't hit these together or else you're going to have a big spark. So make sure, you know, you can tape this up or just be very careful around batteries with uh, wrenches or ratchets like this. All right, so we have the uh, negative side connected together. Make sure that's not touching there. Okay, and now we're going to do the positive side. So if I was at my RV or camper, I would put my positive wire here because my negative wire is over on this battery and I would put my positive wire here before I'm going to hook up my cable here. So same thing. Now we're going to snug that up. Again, being very careful. There we go. So now we have the negative and the negative hooked up and a positive and a positive. Um, and of course, like I said, your positive from your RV or camp pop-up camper would be here and your negative would be here. So the next thing we're going to hook up is our inverter. So what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to put the um, negative on first here. I'm going to put it on this post. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then of course I'm going to not put it here. I'm going to go over to the other battery. So you want all the negatives on this battery, all the positives on this battery. There we go. And as you can see here, I have power on my inverter. All right. So uh, the next thing is uh, if you have a solar panel, uh, I do have a solar panel. Uh, here is the charge controller. So what I do is uh, I hook it up to uh, these posts here the, for the uh, solar panel. So 
So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you hook up uh, these clamps to your battery before plugging in your uh, controller. Because if you plug this in and it's uh, charging and you hit these two together, you'll fry your uh, controller. So make sure you hook up these first. So here we go. I'm going to put this here. Then I'm going to come over and put this one on this one. There we go. So now that the battery is, uh, sorry, the surge, uh, the charge controller is um, hooked up to the battery, uh, I can go and plug it in here to the solar panel. There we go. And as you can see, the minute I plug it in, it says it's charging even though I'm inside. So it shows it's pretty good. And uh, if I would have those battery, uh, sorry, those clamps uh, touching each other or whatever, you know, might uh, fry this thing. So make sure you hook up to your battery first. So there you go. So basically, this is your dual battery setup with um, your uh, inverter connected and your um, solar panel connected, charging the batteries. Um, so again, you have your uh, four gauge, 24 inch cable here, and then you just go negative, sorry, positive, negative, you know, positive, negative for everything, anything you want to hook up. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for tuning in and, uh, please subscribe below. Uh, please leave comments and, uh, until next time. Thanks.